long time ago i fell over at sainsbury's they were all full at helping me they were arguing in front of me how to get me to the hospital the cheapest <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i am at well needs no introduction really does it oak tree motorhomes i've been uh, doing a little bit of filming had a few meetings with rob because we've uh planning a load of videos load of content and loads of good stuff all ready for uh, later in this later in this year and ready for next year but i just wanted to show you something first first off i want to show you this look at this <laughs> look at that that's me <laughs> i'm on my own sign look at that how cool is that that is brilliant now i've said to you lot all along I think Oak Tree is the best. Oak Tree are awesome. Oak Tree are amazing. They really, you know, I, I've said it all along. Well, now there's proof. <laughs> look, look, winners. Winners, Motorhome Dealer of the Year by public vote of MMM Magazine. How awesome is that? So, so deserved. Right, so I have left Rob's, uh, left Oak Tree, um, now I am over at uh, Morrison's um, and there's a, there's a laundry, uh, I can't even see it, but it's over there, you guys can see it. Um, yeah, so I'm doing my, my washing, getting all that uh, ship shape and sorted, whilst rearranging my garage. <laughs> Two birds, one stone and all that, gotta be done. Um, yeah, I took the spare wheel out of my garage because it was um, it was just in the way, it really was. So I've taken that out. Um, I mean, you know, if if I did have a a blowout, which I have had in the past, you know, you guys have seen it. I'm gonna call someone. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna be changing it myself because it was, you know, likely to happen on a busy road. So I'm not gonna be uh, risking that. Um, and I pay for the pay for breakdown. I pay for the service. So, you know. Why not let the, you know, the professionals do it? Um, so yeah, I mean, I might regret it. I might not. It might cost me a fortune in the end. It might not. We will see. Um, but it gives me some valuable space. So rearranging the garage. Now I've got a bit more extra space. Trying to sort that out. Um, full of fishing gear, full of fishing gear. Have I, have I said that the, uh, I don't think I've mentioned in this video, the fishing channel is now out. QR code will be up here. So you can go scan that if you're, uh, if you wanted to go over to the fishing channel. I, I uh, implore all fishermen to go over there. The name of the channel is Urban Hookers. It's great, isn't it? It's a quality name. But right, I'm gonna continue on with this. I'll show you the garage once it's all nice and neat. And then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Right, the washing is just drying. Um, garage only took, you know, five, 10 minutes. It really didn't take long to uh, reshuffle and rejiggle, but it's looking pretty sweet. There's a bit in here that I, yeah, there's a bit of an excess amount of fishing bait, um, which I'm going to work my way through over the winter and uh, early spring, I think, because I got that much. But let's have a look. Let me show you around. So this is now, this is now the garage. Um, now I've got, uh, oh, I can't see myself. Um, all my barbecue stuff is down there with some more barbecue stuff on top. I've got a pretty empty crate on that one. There's my fishing bag. This crate here, the whole crate, which where I said is excessive, is fishing bait. <laughs> so I will dwindle that down and then um, that will be empty and I won't carry as much bait as that. I didn't know I had that much. My fishing bag, well, fish, two, two fishing chairs here. I've just bought one of these, same as uh, Phil's got um yeah the lifetime um table i've got the big table underneath the motorhome which is great it's it's huge it's massive but you have to actually put it all together you know it's not it's not a, you know it's not a proper hassle putting it all together but it's not just a quick open up done table is good to go um when i only need a table for like five ten minutes or something or you know i don't need the massive table so because i've got the, the the air fryer i've got the fryer the deep fat fryer. So if I was to pull up somewhere, you know, like a little campsite or something, and it's it's not the best of weather, but it's clear, like now, I could then come outside, 
get that table out within two seconds, put the deep fat fryer on it, do my deep fat frying so I'm not in the motorhome deep fat frying, and then, and then put it all away. And <laughs> Bob's my uncle. Now, the only thing to go back in is the bike and these two items. These two items are uh, old fishing gear, which I'm gonna sell. Um, but I've got some ideas about this garage. Future ideas, not, not anytime soon, but future ideas. So I was thinking, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about cutting another door in that side. So I'd have the same side, same door like this, but on the other side. I don't think that lot would get in the way. Some some sort of a door. There should be a, a door um, that would fit out there. You just need the frame and then obviously got to get the got to get the boys oak tree to uh, cut the hole. Um, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Then I'd have access from that end as well. Um, I don't know if that'd be a help or a hindrance. So I'd love to know people that have got double door garage is it great would you like a fixed wall does it does it work amazing um and then the other thing i've looked at is there's a from uh fiamma racking system for the garage so basically um now there's a ledge here if you can see there there's a ledge just there and that goes the whole way across not as uh not as wide as that one it's only it's only a couple of inches wide but I've seen some racking where it, you can put the leg there on the floor and then the, the first leg onto the ledge and then it goes all the way up and then you twist, um, you twist the bottom and twist the top and then they go, it pushes up and pushes down. And then this whole area here would be racking. I'll put some pictures on the screen now of what, what it is, what the system is, but then I'll be able to make full use of the height because up here right now, all this area is useless. I can't, I can't stack high enough without it all toppling over. Um, so if it was racking and it had like shelves, maybe a couple of crates, then I could put stuff in the crates and then I could just, I mean, this, this bag here, it isn't heavy, but it could lay down up the top. Again, if any of you have got this racking or you have racking in, in your garage, I'd really love to know how you get on with it if it's any good or not. Um, obviously I've got the bike, so when the racking's in, I mean, I would be getting a little bit more space because I'm not on that ledge. I'm having to, yeah, so that would probably work because at the moment the ledge is kicking me out a bit. So if I could then go in a little bit, or there'd be more room for the bike. I might still be able to use this side, but if not, then I'll do something on this side so then I can, you know, do some other stuff. But I think it would, open up a whole heap of options. Um, also, I do want to get some electric in here somewhere, just maybe up maybe up here somewhere, just so I can then charge the bike whilst it's in the garage. I can, you know, if I'm doing bits and bobs, I can do things and get some more lights. At the moment, I've only got the one light. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some more lights down the back. So really, really put some light on this thing. But right, let me chuck the bike in and I'll show you how it looks. I mean, look at that. It fits perfect just down that channel. You know, it, you just bump the back wheel up and then uh, wheel it in backwards. It fits perfect. I mean, oh, I love this garage so much. I really, really do love this garage so much. It's opened up so much more to me, being able to carry all this fishing gear and then being able to have my bike with me as well is oh, game changer, uh, it really is. Washing's all done, laundry's all put away. Just grabbed some chicken thighs for tonight's dinner. And I've got some currywurst sausages from the Fresh Counter. They look pretty nice. I think I've had them before, but yeah, I've got some. They're 60p a sausage, so I thought I'd get them. Might have them uh, for breakfast. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and find a park up now. I've looked on park for night. I found a nice little, like, like a car park in the middle of nowhere, I think it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure the motorhome's all packed up, jump in and then drive. I think it's gonna be about 20 miles away. Um, Cause I'm, I've got to head back down to 
Oh, my glasses are falling down. <laughs> I got to head back down south to my mum's. Um, I've got an appointment with the hospital. Um, not uh, anything to do with um, diabetes or anything. Um, a long time ago, I fell over uh, at Sainsbury's. Um, yeah, I fell over at Sainsbury's. Let me let me open the door and I'll uh, let you I'll talk you through it. So, long time ago, I I was uh, going to Sainsbury's and I was just marching through. I was on a proper, on a, on a proper mission, and uh, they were changing the signs and they put, they put one on the floor. They just left one in the middle of the aisle on the floor. I didn't see it. Walking, you know, storming through, da, 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 and I hit it. I stood on it, and boy, did I go ass over tit. I I proper hit the deck like a sack of bricks. Um, yeah, proper busted up my arm. I had to take I had to take a week off work. I had to go to the hospital, and ah, oh, they were awful at helping me. Like they were arguing in front of me, like the manager and the duty manager and all this and that. They were arguing in front of me um, how to get me to the hospital the cheapest. Like, do they order me an Uber or do they get the town taxes because they were three pound fifty or something? And it's like, I, I was just like, are you not for real right now? I've just fallen over in your shop because of your fault, and you're arguing in front of that. Like, they were awful. Anyway, long story short. I've got an appointment to see a, um, a specialist about my arm and my shoulder and that because I still get pins and needles. I get, since then, I get pins and needles and tingles in my fingers. These two fingers, I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's a nerve or something. Um, but yeah, I'm suing them. So um, that's all going on. But I've had the appointment come through that I need to go down. Um, and if I, I try to reschedule it, but they won't reschedule it until January or February, so I'm not waiting that long. Um, so yeah, I've got to rush, rush down quicker than I've got to go down quicker than I was expecting. So I'm going to be down there by Wednesday. So I'm going to spend this weekend. I'm going to quickly boot over to Newark, see Shane, see if we can get another fishing video done. Um, see if we can go fishing and then get another fish, fishing video done just before um, I leave the north. The north. <laughs> I'm at the Midlands um, because then I'm not going to be back up for a while because I'm going to be back down. I'm going to be down in the south for a while. So whilst I'm down there, whilst I'm here, I might as well take full advantage and then uh, go see him, see if I can get the video done, say hello to him and all this and that. I love hanging out with Shane and uh, yeah, we'll uh, crack on. So that's where I'm heading, heading towards Newark, found a park up, let's go. Good evening guys, I am at the park up, it's a bit dark, um, but yeah, like, like I said, it's like just a, a, a car park in the middle of nowhere, I mean there's a main, there's a main road here, um, yeah it's between Nottingham and, Berm, uh, Nottingham and Newark, um, my home's obviously just behind me, uh, yeah just parked up there no one else is here there's a a bus stop over here and that's about it so seems like an all right all right park up to me i mean yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes i mean i could move over a, a couple of spots to be fair i might move over i might i might move over just to there so i'm here at the moment i'm <laughs> definitely not straight either so I might move over a couple. Should be a simple, easy, nice little park up. Uh, right, let's move over and then uh, get some dinner going. So chicken thighs for dinner. I've just marinated them. Uh, as soon as I got, um, as soon as I bought them in Morrison's, chucked them in a bag and I just chucked in some uh, Thai seasoning. Let me show you what one. So it's chicken flavor seasoning with garlic and pepper. So yeah. Just Chucked them in the bag, chucked some of that in and mixed them up whilst I was driving. They've been in the fridge, so they've been marinated for about about 45 minutes. Now I'm going to whack them in the air fryer and then get them nice and crispy, ready for dinner. You know, you know how much I love my chicken. So yeah, going to get them on and then probably roast them up for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. And then they're good to go. It'll be the first time I've eaten 
today. Uh, so we, what's time now? Uh, ten to seven. So yeah, this will be my first meal. Um, in by the time I eat, it'll probably be the first meal in twenty four hours. Um, done a twenty four hour fast. Um, I'm kind of just down to about one meal a day almost at the moment. It's not saying I'm strict on that. If I am hungry, I'll just eat. Um, but keto really does, really does work for me. Um, it really it gets some more light on my face, my beautiful face. <laughs> um, keto really does work for me. So yeah, let's uh, keep keep going and uh, see how see what happens. Get a load of these. Ooh yeah, some nice crispy thighs. Look at them. Beautiful. I'm going to chill out, scoff this, and watch Succession. I'm probably quite late to the party with Succession. I don't know if any of you guys are watching it, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. I'm on series two. I think, I think it's actually finished now, so at least I can just go through the whole lot and, uh, and watch it. But I do love a TV show. I do watch movies, but... I prefer TV shows, something that I can really get my teeth into. So if you guys have got any recommendations, I'd love to know what uh, what you're watching and what you recommend. So definitely drop them in the comments below because I'm always looking to add add them to my list, you know, because uh, you, you can't, you can't get, in, you know, you've got to go have a list, didn't you? You've got to have a massive list of what you want to watch. So then when you finish one, you go, yep, let's move on to the next. Let's do that. It's just about chilling out and unwinding, isn't it? It? That's what it's about. Now look at this. There we go. We got the Pepsi. We got the mayo. Can't go anywhere without the mayo. Plenty of water. Succession and ha 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 dies. It is five past ten. Scoff my dinner. Chilled out. Had a nice. That was really nice. I love chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. However they're done, but nice and crispy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, right, let's have a little look outside um, Before I go to bed I'm uh, going to hit the hay Hit the hay, so let's have a little look outside What's going on See if anything's going on Blooming cold <laughs> It's blooming cold, I tell you that Very clear night Look at the motor home parked up, all nice And look how clear the sky is very few clouds, so that's why it's cold. But yeah, parked up nice. I think I'm gonna call it a night, get some sleep, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Brilliant night's sleep. Perfect little park up, really was. I have figured out what this car park is. Um, now I've got the, the Blink the Blink video cameras on my uh, motorhome. Oh, my voice sounds a bit deep and a bit croaky. Oh, that sounds so sexy. <laughs> now, I said to you last night, there's a bus stop uh, just there. Now, I have seen on the cameras uh, overnight, uh, early hours this morning, buses come in here and then they turn around and then they exit here and then go back. This must be the end of the line. There's nothing. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. There must be nothing further down. So they're not, or the route doesn't go that way. So this is their turning uh, circle. It doesn't say that anywhere. It doesn't say bus turning circle or, you know, bus stop or something like that or anything like that. So, yeah, mm, doesn't really help people but if you are going to park here then i'd either park i'd either park right in the corner there or like i have stop spinning or like i have right in the corner over there i mean i could go further over one more but i thought i'd give you guys a heads up um but yeah perfect night's sleep no problems here really nice and quiet it was cold last night um it was cold last night but i had the heating on Full blast, well, not full blast, because it would be like the Sahara Desert in there. I was going to try my currywurst sausages, but I am so stuffed from that chicken last night. I can't even think about food right now. So, 
has hit the road to Newark. Look who it is. <laughs> Shane, I haven't seen him since the NEC. Yeah, it's been that long. That was that was a busy one, wasn't it? It was manic. I, I've, I've got to say, massive shout out to everyone that come and saw me at the stand. I had an actual, I was on the Park for Night stand this year. Had a nice uh, big banner with my beautiful face on <laughs> and giving leaflets the out. Maker. Oh yes, it was really, really good. I, I, I'm really grateful for everyone that come and said hello and all that. It was a great show, wasn't it? It was, it was. 27,000 a day most of the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really busy. It's, uh, my voice is still suffering. <laughs> but now this is the end of the video. So where should they go? Urban Orcas. You need to go to the fishing channel. Get yourself over. Yes, we've got videos over there. You need to get over there, watch them, like, subscribe, comment. Get on the channel, call in all fishermen. Come yes, on. Defo, get yourself across. Right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Look at that, end of the video. What are you still doing here, fishermen? Scan it, click the link. Get on over to Urban Hookers, watch the first video. Come on, get over there and subscribe. Cheers, guys.